Caesarean section is considered relatively safe, but it does pose a higher risk of some complications. If you have a caesarean section, expect a longer recovery time. After caesarean section, here are the most common complications. First, hemorrhage, or, increased blood loss. You will lose more blood overall with a caesarean than with a vaginal birth. Most of the bleeding will be at the time of the surgery so will be managed by your doctor. One of the main risks of caesarean birth, though, is bleeding more than expected during the procedure. Very heavy bleeding is uncommon, but it may mean that you need to have a blood transfusion. About 1-5% to of women have postpartum hemorrhage and it is more likely with a caesarean birth. Hemorrhage most commonly occurs after the placenta is delivered. This may sound scary, but you're in the right place to be treated quickly. So don't worry. Number 2. Bowel Problems. Your bowel function will slow down or stop after having your C-section. This is why you are given clear liquids until activity reoccurs. Once you begin passing gas this will mean normal functions are returning. Full function of your bowels is also a criteria that needs to be met before you can go home. Some people still have bowel issues, for example diarrhea, few weeks after their C-section. Maybe it caused by the antibiotics you got after the C-section. So, you can take probiotics to try to restore the good bacteria that were killed off. You can take yogurt. A good starting point for figuring out how much yogurt you should eat per day is the recommended daily dairy consumption. For anyone over the age of 9, the U.S. Department of Agriculture's website recommends 3 cups of dairy per day. Each cup of yogurt counts as 1 cup of dairy. Number 3, Infection. About 1 in 12 women get an infection after having a C-section, so before you go into surgery, you'll have a single dose of antibiotics, to reduce your risk. The three main infections are Infection in your wound Symptoms include redness and discharge, worsening pain in the wound and separation of the wound. It's more likely to happen if you have diabetes or are overweight or obese. Infection of the lining of your womb, uterus, called endometritis. Symptoms include heavy bleeding, irregular bleeding, smelly discharge or a fever after the birth. Urinary tract infection as a result of catheterization, having a thin tube inserted to empty your bladder. Symptoms include pain low down in your tummy or groin, a high temperature. Chills and confusion. The catheter is usually inserted during the operation and may be left in for at least 12 hours or until you are mobile. How to avoid infection. Keep your external incision clean daily. Do not touch your incision before washing your hands. Number 4. Blood clot. Probably the most feared complication of cesarean delivery deliveries is the formation of blood clots in the mother's legs or pelvic area. These blood clots can break off and travel to the lungs. If this happens, it is called a pulmonary embolism. This complication is the leading cause of death among pregnant women in most developed countries. Fortunately, the clots usually cause swelling and pain in the legs, and most women bring this to their doctor's attention before the clots travel to the lung. If a blood clot is found early, it can be treated with use of a blood thinner, such as Coumadin or Warfarin. Your medical team will give you preventive treatments, such as blood thinning drugs and elastic support stockings. To improve the blood flow in your legs, you'll be encouraged to move around as soon as possible after your caserine. This will help your circulation and reduce the risk of a clot forming.